Hey guys, so I am decided that I was just going to go ahead and do a seed collection. Um, not all of my seeds have come in yet, but I just decided I might as I have a lot. So, <laughs> I might as well go ahead and show you what I have. And then I can show you whatever comes in later. So, a lot of this is from my gardener, in my gardener, and Haas Tools. And I think it's some, some of them are from last year that I got at Lowe's and Walmart and all of those places. So, they're not going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to kind of go through what they are quickly. Um, and so, I'm going to have 12 beds, garden beds. And yes, I still have my Christmas up. Just worry about yourself. And... Um, so I have 12 garden beds that are gonna be on my property. Um, we have just under an acre of land. And um, so we're gonna have 12 garden beds here. And then I have six garden beds in a community garden. And so I would love to hear from you guys. What are some things that you think we should grow in the community garden? These are things that are gonna be boxed up almost like a CSA, but for free. And um, boxed up and given to people um, in need. So, um, around our community. So, um, I live in Kentucky, and um, so these are things that I've kind of done a little bit of research on um, to see what would grow well in our area. Um, I think I totally screwed up on the onions, but we'll, like I said, we're going to learn together. <laughs> so, first, we have curled chervil. It's basically French parsley. Um, so, that's going to go in our little um, herb garden and I don't quite know yet how I'm going to lay the beds out yet um, I'm going to map it out at some point and I'll walk y'all through that when I do that but we got to get the beds made first so once we do that I'll kind of walk you through and do like a garden tour and show you what we plan on doing with it so start with that and then um, I do have a lot of flowers mixed in here too um, I've never done flowers before, and I think it would be just something really fun to experiment with. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it's not like it's not going to feed our family. You know, it's just something fun to do and um, to help pollination and that kind of stuff. So, I have a dwarf zinnia mix. Um, the maturity date is 60 days on this. So, um... So yeah. Oh, one thing that I did learn from Jess from Roots and Refuge, she is probably one of my favorite YouTubers right now. And um, if you look on the back of seeds, it'll say packed for 2022 or whatever. Sometimes it'll have a date on here. It's not an expiration date. I didn't know that <laughs> going into this. And so I haven't thrown anything out, but um but it's good to know they're not expiration date seeds will last a long time if they're in their package and stored correctly so all right uh then we have a jubilee watermelon um the kids were super excited about this they love watermelon so um we shall see how this will do um we've never grown watermelon here before so i'm not sure how well that'll do um this is one from last year that i just didn't get to it's just a homestead tomato that's what it's called just a generic um, slicer tomato. Um, this is from Fairy Morse and it's just basil. Just some generic sweet basil. Um, I got the Benary. I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher some of these. But a Benary Giant Purple Zinnia. I'm excited about that. Um, this one was really interesting. Um, a 42-day tomato. My daughter um, loves cherry tomatoes, um, grape tomatoes, all, all the, anything with a tomato she loves. So I really got these for her. And, um, so days to maturity is 42 days. So we shall see. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm going to start those inside or not because it's such a short day, days to maturity that I think I'll just start them outside as seeds. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Like I said, I'm not an expert <laughs> at any of this. So, um, we're all going to learn together. Um, I got some Italian oregano. Um, from Haas, I got some Silver Queen sweet corn. 
My grandfather used to be a gardener. Um, he had a very big garden um, when we were growing up, and he always grew Silver Queen. So that is an homage to him. And um, this one just looked fun. Um, dark opal basil um, from my gardener. I'm really excited about this. I'm excited about different types of varieties like purple basil and you'll see a couple other things that are just kind of off the wall. And um, I'm excited about that because it's not just um, growing something that you can get at the grocery store. It's something fun and exciting. So we'll see. Um, next is the top crop bean bush beans. And it says they're container friendly days to maturity is 45 to 55 days. Um, so yeah, bush beans, um, some Genovese, I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure. Basil, just some generic basil. And I have a lot of repeats of things, but I'm also gonna be doing two different gardens, so in two different locations. So I'm gonna mix and match them. I'm gonna have some thyme. Um, some broccoli. Um, our broccoli did really good this year. I had never grown broccoli before. And I didn't get my seeds from um, in my gardener. I just, I don't even know where. I, oh, I bought plants is what it was. I bought starters. And um, I had never done broccoli before. They grew beautiful leaves. I mean, beautiful. and But would never get a head on them. And I was like, I don't understand. Like, when is this supposed to happen? And my mother-in-law, who's also a gardener, she said, well, one day you're going to walk out there and you're going to have broccoli. I was like, okay, sure enough. <laughs> and then they all came in fairly quickly. So um, that was kind of a fun little present to walk out to. Um, so we've got this stole um, evergreen corn, um, which is another white variety of corn. Um, I got some Danvers 126 carrots. These are some really big, beautiful carrots. Um, these are ones that I don't know if this is going to work in our area or not. It's We're right on the border of where it would work. So, I'm going to try it and we'll just learn together. These are the Texas Early Grano um, onions. So, we're going to see. Um, this is a pack of San Marsanos. These are from last year that I never grew because I ran out of garden space. Um, just some provider beans. Um, some red dynasty cabbage. Um, I did cabbage this year, um, and made my own sauerkraut, which was kind of fun. The kids loved it. I was shocked. I didn't think they would like it at all, honestly. And they keep asking for more of it. So we're definitely going to be doing that again in the future. I got to figure out how to can it. Um, I've done fermenting on it, but I want to try to can it. So I need to figure that out. Um, so yeah, so we've got the red cabbage. Um, this is a Jericho Romaine Lettuce from Haas. Um, we've got some rainbow carrots. Again, just something fun to do in the garden. I think the kids will really enjoy that. My daughter's obsessed with rainbows, so I figured she would really get a kick out of that. These are some Sierra Blanca onions. Um, just a generic white onion, um, and we're going to see how it does. Um, these are candy onions. These seemed like something fun to do. I think the kids would just like it just because it has candy in the name of it. And, um, I figured maybe this would be a really good one for caramelizing onions and doing like a caramelized onion jam or something like that. I think that would be really good. Um, we've got some bunching onions. I had used a little bit of these last year and they never did anything. I don't think I did them right. So... Anyway, we're gonna try these again this year. They're just like a green bunching onion. Um, we've got Kentucky Wonder Pole beans because we live in Kentucky, so I figured we needed to get Kentucky Wonder Pole beans. <laughs> just kind of made sense. Um, we've got some scarlet kale. I have never grown kale before, and I'm not a big fan of kale. However, I've seen some people on YouTube um, dehydrate kale or freeze dry it and with other greens and turn it into like a greens powder that you can use in smoothies or just add it to random recipes to bump up the nutrition. So I'm going to give it a try and I thought it was really pretty. So we'll see. 
Um, these are really cool. This is a green griller squash. They're kind of fat and rectangular, <laughs> but they're good for slicing and for grilling. So I'm excited about this. I've, we grow like zucchini and squash and that kind of stuff like every year. And we always have it up to our ears. And I think if we had a different method of cooking it, that would be something fun to do. Um, got some shallots. Again, I I think we are in the right area for this, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, a beet mix. Um, we've never grown beets before. Um, I don't know that my children have ever eaten a beet. So <laughs> um, I plan on doing some stuff with these, um, like pickling them, um, roasting them, that kind of thing. So I'm excited that um some bib butterhead lettuce um i have never grown like lettuce heads like this before i tried to do romaine last year and did okay with it um we ate it we ate what we grew but once i cut it it did never grow back so i need to look into how to harvest it so it'll continue growing because however i did it did not work um got some sunflowers i was watching someone talk about um putting sunflowers in their garden and especially if you have problems with birds or squirrels or whatever eating um your tomatoes and your produce um put these in there and they'll be attracted to the flowers and eat the seeds and hopefully leave your other stuff alone so we're hoping and praying <laughs> got some collards my husband loves collards i do not like collards but he does, and pretty much everyone else in my family, except for me, likes collards. So, that's my sacrifice to them. Um, a Boston pickling cucumber. Um, we did, this is the only cucumber variety I bought this year. We did cucumbers last year. I did the burpless cucumbers, and, um, and they were good, but we had so many of them, and I made jars and jars and jars of pickles. And come to find out, our family's not big pickle people. So, um... I'm not sure if that's going to work or not, but we're going to um, give it a shot and see what we can do with them. Um, next, we have Blue Ridge Kale. Um, again, this is just another kale variety that I thought I could um, dehydrate, make into a greens powder. Um, maybe we can put it in salads um, or just freeze it for smoothies. I'm not sure, but we'll put it to good use for sure. It will not be wasted. Um, this was another fun thing, purple cauliflower, and um, just a fun little thing. I think the kids will get a kick out of it, and um, just something fun to grow. Um, we have a Hungarian yellow wax pepper. Um, we make the Mississippi pot roast um, pretty often. It's one of my husband's favorite meals, and um, so I wanted to grow some peppers that I could um, I guess they're pickled when you buy them, like mild pepper rings and that kind of stuff. I guess it's pickled. I'm not really sure, but I'll look into it when I go to preserve it. Um, and hopefully we can grow those here. Um, our favorite is Clemson spineless okra. Um, my husband went to Clemson, so we're anything that comes from Clemson, we try to get. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, it's also a really great pollinator um because the flowers that come off of it are beautiful never knew okra had beautiful flowers until we started growing it and they're some of my favorite flowers um it grows really fast they grow really tall um we got to one year i don't know if it was it was the first year we grew okra and we got to the point where we were having to bend it down to cut the okra off of it and then it got so tall to where i went to bend it down and it just broke the stalk because it was so tall um, so we had really good success with that. Um, we've got some red Floyd onions. Um, again, hopefully they'll work. <laughs> um, Mountain Vineyard tomatoes. These just looked delicious. They look like the type that I buy at the grocery store that my children love. So figure we can try to do those at home. Um, Celosia Century Mix. Not really sure. They looked really cool. Um, they looked really pretty. So we're going to do these as some of our flowers. Um, we've got the, oh, I've got another one of the giant purple zinnias. Um, 
whatever that says, Ailsa Craig onions. Once again, we've got a lot of stuff, um, a lot of extra stuff. So I'm going to plant, again, I'm going to plant some in our garden. I'm going to plant some in our garden um, at the university that I work at. So um, got some Amish paste tomatoes. I heard really good things about these. So, um, and I plan on doing a lot of canning and preserving this year. Um, I got a pressure canner for Christmas and I've got a water bath canner and all the things. Um, so I plan on doing a lot of preservation. So I heard that those were good for canning and obviously probably making tomato paste <laughs> and, um, got some nasturtiums. I'd never heard of nasturtiums until this year. Um, and I think it was somebody on TikTok was talking about them. I don't remember his name, but he's like a gardener guy. Anyway, um, he was talking about nasturtiums. They're edible, um, and you can throw them in flowers or, um, they're just really, or throw them in flowers. Lord, I'm getting tired. You can throw them in salads or, um, just have them as pretty pollinators in your garden. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then last is the sweet banana peppers. Um, again, I bought these or I bought the, these first and then did the other ones and didn't realize I had two in my cart and whatever. So that is it for my seed collection right now. I do have some more seeds coming in from, um, in my gardener and, um, I think that's it. I think I've got two more collections coming from him and then, um, I plan on getting some seed potatoes. I really want to do potatoes, especially in the community garden. Um, but again, give me suggestions um, of things that you might want to see um, in the community garden, what you think would be a good idea for filling a CSA box. Um, again, it's going to be a free resource to our community, so we're not charging anybody for these, um, for all the produce we get out of those six beds. So, um, so yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, uh, and wish us luck because we have a lot of hard work ahead of us and we're excited, but, um, we will see you all very soon. Bye guys.